down, but in the meanwhile, I'ma show you what I mean. Let's think of it all the way. Everything we do and say be fine, so we always live out each day. When we did was wrong at time, but how come I'm back on one? Some mistake, but it ain't no crime. Cause I'm not a how we don't suck. You might as well die. Oh, the time that you were standing on my side. So it's off. And I'm going to switch it on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, going to click on another button which says check for pixel. Basically this is just going to make sure that everything's installed correctly. Clicked it. It says everything's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go to browse applications. So, phone up. So you're going to click Browse Applications and basically you can have certain, I mean, you can see like there's various, you know, applications that you need. You can see here's any sim, for example, which is something which is important for us. And you're also going to see that there is uh, Binkit, which is another important file. So let's click on any sim first of all. Downloading, please wait. Says your application has been sent to the Pixel daemon on the iPhone. Please allow 30 seconds to install. It says your phone will soft restart when it's complete. So if you look at the phone, it's doing everything automatically now. Once it's done, you'll see that any SIM is now on the phone. We're not done yet. So let's click on Browse Applications one more time. We're going to go down to Binkit, let it do its thing downloading. Now Binkit is a 4 MB file so it may take a few you know a few minutes, a few seconds, depends on your internet speed. It's now uploading. And there you go, install complete. Save 30 seconds for it finish for the for the phone to stop restart. So now now we see that we both have the any sim and we have the bin kit. It's really simple. Now I'm gonna click back because although now everything's on the phone, it's still not activated, so I still can't get to the main menu. So we're going to click on Files, and we're going to go to... We're going to navigate right over here. See, I've got a little tutorial here going on. Sorry for the cheating, but I don't want to make any mistakes. So we're going to click on User. We're going to click on LIVXSEC. We're going to click on Upload Files, and then we're going to add the file named Lockdown, which I mentioned that we're get, we, we need, and I'll put this in a nice little pack for everyone to, to just use. Here we go. Now I'll select Open, and now it says it's uploading. And there it is, it's done. Now you just need to restart your, your iPhone, so let me do that really fast. Well, now that I've done all that, you can see that basically I don't have the activation screen anymore. Everything's all fine. Now we're going to go to any sim. Say slide to unlock. You get basically some some things that you have to follow. I mean, you have to read it all. Okay, make sure you read it. And then click OK to unlock the phone. Easy? Easy. There you go. There's the procedure. So once it's done, all you need to do is just switch off your iPhone, switch it off. It doesn't matter if it has any error messages, it doesn't matter if it says that it didn't work properly, it had an, an issue. Just switch it off, switch it on, make sure you have your new SIM card in, and hopefully everything will be fine. Now I've just switched it off and I'll switch it on. Everything's connected nicely, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, you're going to see a list of links, some text tutorials, special thanks and shoutouts, and I'm also going to provide a special download for a pack, which I'm going to call the Complete uh, Unlock Pack. And basically, it's going to have iTunes um, 3.8.6, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, it's going to have any sim 1.1. have all of the files that you need so you won't need to search anywhere. 
Anyway, I hope this helps.